So all your rubber's gonna wear out. Eventually your rear window rubber's gonna wear out too. So I am at Brothers Tech Center today to show you how to replace the rubber and or the glass in your square body if you've got the locking bead. Now your standard, it installs a little bit different, the standard rubber style. I'll be doing a video for you guys on that a little bit later. Today it's the chrome locking bead style. So a job like this will generally take about an hour, maybe two, if it gets a little frustrating for you. You might need a hand, uh, so maybe call one of your buddies that you like, because again, this can get frustrating sometimes. This is a really nice thing, these suction cups right here, they're relatively inexpensive. You can find them almost anywhere, and it just sucks right onto the glass like this, and it makes it easier to hold on to it, keep it from slipping inside, such and such. You don't really want to use anything like um, screwdrivers on there, obviously, because you're going to scratch stuff, break the glass or what have you. So you want to get these little plastic spatula kind of things right here. They all comes in different shapes and sizes, uh, so get a little set of those. This uh, razor right here is just to cut the old rubber out, it's the only thing I'll need it for. This right here, this is a relatively specific tool here. I want you to notice the ball on the end of that. And what this is for is that when we're installing the new rubber, I can go ahead and get that ball and I can use it to kind of hook inside and pull the rubber out and over the edge of the glass. Uh, another thing that you're gonna wanna do is get some sort of lubricant for the rubber. It makes it easier to get your glass or your slider in. I like to use this foaming style uh, glass cleaner is what I like. If you use oil, if you try to use WD-40 or something like that, what'll happen is it'll soak into the rubber and it'll make a bloody slippery mess. So this right here, it gives me a nice even lubricant and it helps me clean everything at the same time. So basic stuff, no big deal. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take the old glass out. And for that, I'll go ahead and I'll go and cut into my uh, bead lock here. I'll pull my bead lock out. I'll also cut along the edge like this until I'm sure I've got it cut. And then I can go ahead and just pull, well, actually everything off at the same time in this case. Now, when I'm cutting this out, I'm just gonna cut the top out mainly. I'll cut the bottom some too, but if I cut everything out, then it might just fall out. So I'm mainly cutting out the top, then I'll be able to just simply tap on it, bring it out in a nice controlled fashion, and I don't have to worry about breaking anything. If one of my buddies can use this glass, I don't wanna bust it. So let me cut this out of here, and then we'll clean up some. Right, this one was really stuck in here. I actually had to cut uh, along here and on the inside too. But now I believe it's about to come out. When I'm gonna be trying to get it out, I'm gonna tap on the glass with a full palm. I wanna make sure that I don't have any specific points because a specific point might break your glass. So you're just gonna be tapping on it like this to encourage it to come on out. Oh, see? And then since we have our bottom not totally cut out, it's still stable. Now I can just do this and pull it on out. So I'm just gonna clean up uh, all around the edge so I don't get any dirt. A lot of times there'll be glue and weird things in here. People will try to stop leaks and put on kinds of 
silicone and such in there and we don't want that because it will give us a problem when we're trying to install our glass. The other thing that I want to do is I want to run my finger along the edge here and I want to see if there's any sharp edges that might grab my rubber and scratch it or tear it. So I'll look for those and I'll go ahead and file those down a little bit. Now you get these little aluminum pieces to go in the corner right here where the bead lock goes. It has this uh, covering on it so that they don't get damaged when they're being manufactured and packaged and such. So you'll just take this thin film off and you'll be left with your nice shiny there. I'm going to use just a little bit of um, glass cleaner in there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to jam it into the corner as best as I can. Then I'll take these edges and I'll fold them over the edge of my piece here and then the corner will be my last piece. So that the corners usually that last piece to flip over that's usually the toughest bit. But if you get this really jammed into the corner good then you've got a really good starting point so get it all the way in and then work on the outside edges. Okay, so you get it jammed into your corner, you work your edge, you work your edge, you work your edge, and then eventually you'll be able to slip it right over that corner there and try not to uh, do any damage to your little piece right here. So one of the things I've done is, um, before I even started working on this, I set the rubber outside. It makes it nice and warm and it makes it easier to work with. The colder it is, the more brittle it'll be, the tougher it's going to be to install. So get it nice and warm first. Then I'm going to go ahead and install the rubber on the cab. And I'm not going to be using any of the lube to install it. One, I don't need to because as you can see it installs pretty easy like this. Two, if I did use any kind of lubricant on this, then um, it would make it easier to slip off and stuff. Now, I've only got a limited amount of time to install the window. I've got to do it now. But if I had my choice and I was at my shop, I would install this rubber and I'd leave it there for a day or two because it would really mold in well to the um, cab and then it'll make it easier to install the glass. You don't have to. No glass installers do. But if you've got that, it's a nice thing. So what I'll do is I'll get tape and I'll just hang it here like this. And then I'll go ahead and I'll put the rubber in best I can and I'll wrap this around and then it'll hold on to it. Now you notice this little lump right here. It seems like the rubber's too big and that's because it's not into the corners as well as it should be. You can see there's got like a gap going on right here. So what I'll be doing is just making sure that this is all the way into my corners and then I can get rid of any of those little lumps. You might run into the same thing on the bottom, so you're just going to be pulling your rubber, making sure that you're tight into your corners. Once I'm satisfied with that, then I can go ahead and start installing. All right, so I've got Jamie here helping me. And what we're going to do is just get it kind of started in the bottom here. I'm going to get it grooved into this little channel in here. 
and then I'll go ahead and work on the other side after this is a bit more secure. Got my plastic spatulas here to encourage the rubber into the right spot, lapping over the glass. So that's fitting in there nice. I'll use this right here to make sure the bottom channel is good. Yeah, that's good. All right. All right, so if you'll switch sides with me, then I'll work on that side. Okay, so there's a lot of different things that I'm going to be doing with this. I can uh, take the tool and roll it like this. I can do kind of a jiggle thing. Sometimes it'll just be a slide, but you're going to have to employ a lot of different things in order to get the rubber to uh, cooperate with you. So you won't be just using one, just use what works in that particular place. Okay, sometimes you'll notice that I'm tapping on the glass that will uh, help jiggle it kind of into the groove well. And, uh, but you always have to be sure it's with a nice flat palm. So here you can see, if I roll it like this, then it's pulling the rubber out and allowing it to slip over the edge of the glass. So another thing you can do is get behind the glass from the inside of the cab and encourage the rubber over too. Corners are going to be your toughest, so just know that and accept that. I've got my bead here and it's all around my glass, but now I kind of need to get my glass and everything kind of centered. I need to make sure that this groove right here, where the bead lock is going to go in, is going to be wide enough for that bead lock to go in. So I'm just doing something along the lines of this here to encourage that. And I'm making sure that the glass is centered and everything. Maybe it's jammed over too far to one side or the other. So we'll make sure that those are nice and even. We'll get this channel worked well. And then I can go ahead and start installing the bead lock. Now I'm going to go ahead and install my little corner piece right here. What I'll be doing this time though is I uh, slid it into the rubber this way. Just jiggling it like that. Once this was pretty firm, then I was able to roll this corner over and then this edge over here and uh, get it on the rest of the way. So now we're going to go ahead and install our bead lock. I forgot to tell you about this tool earlier. This is a bead lock installer and how it's going to work is it's going to spread out the rubber like that while I'm installing my lock like this. So let me show you what that looks like. So you can see how this spreads the rubber apart and then you just simply take the bead lock and slide it right on in. I'm going to be sliding it underneath my little yellow, my uh, little shiny corner right here. Once you feel that you've got it shoved in there and it's met to the corner, then what you're going to do is just walk it like this and then feed in the lock at the same time. So I hope you can get a good shot of that on the camera there. So you get a lot of bead lock on this, but it's a bit cumbersome to have all of this attached while I'm trying to work on it. So what I'm going to do is I'll measure this out. I'm going to cut it with a couple of inches to spare. I'll get the bead lock in this far, and then I'll be able to see exactly where I need to cut it on this side. I'll just go ahead and trim this down. And then what I'm going to need to do 
is um, stick this into the corner and get the rubber to run around. So I'll need to take my bead lock out here. I'm going to see how far I can get it up to there, but okay. So what you'll need to do on this is kind of back it up and then slide it in and then get the rubber to come up over the bead using one of your rubber spatulas here. All right, so there's the way it should look when you're all done. If you still got a lump, that means it's too long. You're going to have to trim it down and try again. But that should be nice and flat and look nice like that. So now what I'll do is just basically do the same thing on the top right here. Just walk it all the way around, shove it in, yada yada. Be done in no time at all. So there you have it. That is how you install a deluxe rubber seal on the back of your window, 73 to 87 square bodies, or any other year truck that has the lock bead is gonna be basically about the same. Don't wanna install glass, wanna get a little bit more air, that's okay because we have sliders too. These are my favorite from back in the day. This just rushes a ton of air through the cab. If you don't have air conditioning, that's a really nice substitute. My name's David Welch. I'm at Brothers Tech Center every single week, making sure you get your truck back on the road and looking good. You make sure you check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Just because you should, man.